Welcome back to another video everyone. This is Coaster Daddy, and today I'm going to be giving my in-depth review of Skyrocket, a premier rides launch coaster that opened at West Mifflin, Pennsylvania's Kennywood in 2010. Skyrocket is right there to greet you at the front of the park immediately as you enter from the covered tunnel that goes under the main road, and it really looks fantastic. It features a really cool color scheme with dark blue track and gray supports. This was a big new ride for the park at the time of opening, and replaced the classic auto cars, which many people were not happy about, but I think the removal was justified for a ride like this. I was very happy when I visited Kennywood in July of 2019 to see this ride up and running, as it was down for most of the 2018 season due to a major issue with the launching mechanism. I got the opportunity to ride Skyrocket twice during my July visit, and I've also been on this in 2010 and 2011. In addition to this ride's title, the model of this coaster by Premier is actually called a Skyrocket, and this ride is essentially a prototype for what would become the Skyrocket 2 model, now found commonly at parks across the world. I have always found this quite interesting as this coaster doesn't really resemble the later Skyrocket 2s in terms of its layout at all. However, I could see how this ride could be easily cloned and installed at many parks as the later model would come to be, though obviously that didn't happen with this particular model, so Kennywood ended up with a pretty unique ride. I will quickly note that upon researching for this video, I discovered that Full Throttle at Six Flags Magic Mountain is actually a Skyrocket 3 model. Skyrocket has no theming, but is presented very nicely. There is a cool sign with a logo above the entrance to the queue line, and the logo is also featured on the trains. I guess the theming of this ride is that you are being skyrocketed with the signature launch. The color scheme of this ride is one of my favorites of any coaster out there. Simple, but unique, and the paint also looked very fresh still when I visited Kennywood in 2019. You will walk under the Skyrocket sign at the entrance and go through a pretty small section of switchbacks, and basically straight up to the station, walking right under the ride and being completely surrounded by twisting track. Skyrocket has two trains, each with two cars arranged in three rows of two people, so each train has a capacity of 12 riders. Once you board these super comfortable Premier trains, which only feature a padded lap bar with a bulky shin guard, you will pull down on the restraint before being dispatched, and the operations on this ride seem to be among the best in the park, and the line moved pretty quickly. Upon dispatch, the train will turn 180 degrees to the left and waste no time, quickly engaging with the LSM launch, hitting the ride's top speed of 50 miles per hour in 3 seconds. The launch is not super forceful, but very thrilling, and you get an excellent pop of ejector as you crest the 95 foot tall top hat element, where you are then stalled for a couple seconds before plummeting down the 90 degree vertical drop, and then you twist up into a cutback inversion to the left, followed by another inversion, a surprisingly awesome whippy 0G roll, then you will bank upwards to the right and into the ride's mid-course brake run, which doesn't take away too much speed, then drop off the mid-course into a very steep drop providing a great moment of ejector air. You then hit a low to the ground bank turn to the left, followed by the third and final inversion, a corkscrew, which is just okay. Not nearly as good as the first two inversions, but fun nonetheless. The train then banks to the right, you go through trick track style section with a couple quick S-bends, and it is worth noting that this was the roughest part of the ride by far, which is something the rest of the ride didn't suffer from. After this section, you have another simple bank turn to the right, followed by the ride's finale, two fun airtime moments which provide some fun pops of ejector. After these hills, you hit the final brake run ending the 45 second, 2100 foot long ride experience on Skyrocket. I really want to stress that I think Kennywood Skyrocket is a sorely underappreciated ride. It is simply a ton of fun, has a few awesome moments of ejector air, most shockingly that huge sustained moment over the top hat. A couple of their inversions are really great, and I believe this was a perfect fit for Kennywood's coaster lineup, especially at the time of opening in 2010. Even today though, I believe it is different enough from Steel Curtain to differentiate itself respectably, as it provides a fun launch experience ejector air versus the couple moments of weak floater on steel curtain, and is a perfect front gate coaster to greet guests as they enter the park. As you can probably tell, I am a fan of Skyrocket. It is, however, far from perfect. The negatives of the ride are as follows. The pacing. The mid-course brake run doesn't really hurt the ride at all, but after that and the corkscrew, you just kind of meander through uninspired bank turns and a couple S-bends which are pretty rattly before hitting the two bunny hop finale. 
This section of the ride from the exit of the corkscrew up until the bunny hops really stifles the pacing in my opinion. Thankfully though, with those bunny hops at the end, the ride is saved from having a mediocre meandering finale. Like I mentioned earlier as well, the corkscrew itself is just okay. I would have rather seen another zero G roll in its place, but the corkscrew is fine though. I also think a decent sized airtime hill or an inline twist would have been better in place of the S-bins. The only other gripe I can think of with this ride is possibly the fact that each train only has two cars, only allowing for 12 people per cycle. Luckily, the operations on this ride itself were actually pretty good, though when I visited Kennywood, and the line moved along very nicely. I waited about 10-15 to 15 minutes for each of my two rides, despite the line being back to roughly the point near the mid-course break run. In conclusion, I believe that Skyrocket at Kennywood is deserving of a very solid score of 7 out of 10. It is a decent length, very fun and thrilling, but not too intense so as not to appeal to a wide audience. It has a few really great moments of airtime, and has what are in my humble opinion really comfortable trains. Great job on this one Premier Rides and Kennywood. Have you ridden Skyrocket? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Do you agree and do you think it is different enough from the brand new Steel Curtain? Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content like this coming from me in the future. Like this video which really helps my channel out a lot. And like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you all so much again for watching my review of Skyrocket. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.